Welcome back to my morning break. One of the really cool things about toddler Tuesdays at the Oatland Island Wildlife Center are the opportunities for kids to get to meet some animals at a close but safe distance. And Aria Janelle is live there this morning with an animal. OK, right before we went to break, I had to take a double take because I'm like, was that an armadillo I was looking at? You really know your animals, Kyle, because yes, it was. So this week, Toddler Tuesday is focusing on the armadillo, but every week they pick a different animal. So if you decide every Tuesday I'm going to take me and the kids over here to learn about something new, that's exactly what's going to happen. But this week, if you can't make it out to Toddler Tuesday, we're going to give you a sneak peek of the armadillo. This is Rocky. Rocky has been teaching me a lot, honestly, today. I didn't know much about armadillos. To be honest, I wasn't even sure if I knew exactly what one looked like until Rocky came out to visit us. She has been constantly trying to like dig and burrow all day today. Um, we've seen her actually do it in what would be like her natural habitat for a little bit today. That's yeah. been really interesting. Yeah. So today we're going to learn about the nine banded armadillo. That's the armadillo that we have in North America. And this is Rocky. Rocky, um, one thing we learned in Toddler Tuesday is they don't see very well. They can hear pretty well, but their world is really olfactory. It's really their sense of smell. She wants to talk on the mic. I know. Um, Rocky, do you have, <laughs> Rocky, do you have something to say? She just, just sniffs a lot. Um, so if you have you see them in the wild, you might want to go up and touch them because it seems like they're not paying attention to you. And if the wind is blowing your scent away, you can walk right up to them. And we'll learn in our class today that you might really want to touch them, but they will jump straight up when they're startled up four feet high. And so if you think about it, where do we see them oftentimes? dead on the side of the road, it's because they don't run from cars. They jump when they get startled by cars. So we'll sing a song about that and we'll jump like an armadillo. Um, and she will be our educator today, our teacher and Toddler Tuesday. Tell us a little bit about um, Rocky, her body, you were saying yeah. these are different types of armadillos because they don't actually roll. Yes, yeah, so the nine banded armadillo is not as dexterous, I would say, than the three banded. That's the one we think of when we think about rolling up in a ball. Um, there are a lot of armadillos in the world, believe it or not. There's 20 something, I can't remember the exact number. Um, in North America, in our area, we only have this one in, in um, the United States. And they kind of accidented here, either they came across the Rio Grand, they can swim um, or walk along the bottom of the water if they can't swim, if it's a big, if it's a short river crossing. Um, but they are um, rooting around in the ground looking for bugs. They don't see very well, but they smell six inches underneath the ground. They can find, wow. and they really like beetle grubs. Um, beetle grubs are their 90% of their diet. That's the coleopterans, those little tiny ones that you see in your um, grass. So if you see a armadillo rooting around, most likely that's what they're going for. They're not going in to eat your garden necessarily although they are omnivores and they will eat whatever they can catch awesome. um, so she's going to be in our class squirming around today yeah that's awesome well rocky thank you so much for giving us a little bit of your time yes. if people can't come to toddler tuesday what are some things that they can come out here and do instead Perfect segue. Um, on April 29th, we are having our Fairy and Gnome Festival. It is a child-centered, uh, child and nature festival where we will um, unleash the enchanted forest and the fairies and the gnomes will come. We ask kids to dress up, come out and play with us and um, help support our center because both Toddler Tuesday and the Fairy and Gnome Festival <laughs> are fundraisers for Oatland Island. Awesome. Well, we're going to let um, Rocky take a little bit of a break. Kyle, I have to tell you, I did face my fear today, and I did pet Rocky. She feels kind of like a football, like a pigskin football, which is very interesting to say about an animal. Yeah. yeah. I, okay, I was amazed because there's a book that I read to my son called But Not the Armadillo, and there's a simple line in there that says, Armadillo jumps on armadillo toes. I had no idea what that line was in reference to. So we all got a little bit of education today. Um, you said they f they're featuring the armadillo next week. Did she say what they were, what the next one was? That's a good question. I'm going to ask Michelle next week's Toddler Tuesday. What animal will you guys be featuring? Uh, 
Um, if I'm on the spot. I don't know <laughs> right now. Uh, you can go to our website, uh, oatlandisland.org, and um, you will be able to see all the themes. I try to put at least six themes up in a row. Um, I don't remember exactly what next week is. I kind of focus one at a time. But I do know the Wolves is on April 26th. <laughs> We do know that because we have to celebrate their birthday. Obviously, they're turning seven, which is a big accomplishment because they've had those wolves since they were 15-week-old puppies. With, well, I guess not puppies. Wolf yeah, puppies? Cubs, cubs. But, yeah, we are actually, it's not, the Toddler Tuesday is not on the, their birthday. It's on the day, I think it's the day before their Holiday birthday. Before. Yeah. But we are celebrating. We are celebrating. We are celebrating. Yeah. Either way, whatever is next week, Kyle, I'm sure you're going to have to bring Wyatt and your daughter out here because it's kind of cool. Yeah, I was going to say, cool I, thing I, doing out here. I know a toddler that will stand there and ask plenty of questions once he starts to see the animals. So it could be kind of fun. All right, Aria, thanks. Uh, and thanks to the folks out there at oh, yeah. Island Wildlife. Coming up.